Hey everyone, uh, Charlie Lawford here for our next video in our H-Expert series. Uh, thanks very much for joining us. Uh, and today we are very lucky to be joined by Simon Buchanan, who joins us from UNSW Global. So mate, thank you very much for being here with us today. Thanks very much for having me, Charlie. So, uh, so how long have you been at UNSW Global for? Uh, just over 11 years now. I started off as a systems admin all that time ago. Uh, and since then, these grades have appeared. <laughs> so, um, so working in a university at this present time must be quite challenging, as it is for a, a lot of people. Um, I just thought I'd ask: Are you kind of using the time uh, to, you know, plan and develop uh, the platform a little bit further for, you know, when uh, things get back to normal? Uh, for us, it's actually the opposite. Um, so, since we ran in Nutanix, it's uh, quietly done its thing in the background and enabled us to get on and do bigger and better things elsewhere. And that's what's happening today. Cool, that's great. And, and look, you know, we, we, we often talk about that, but it's great to hear that from a, from a customer as well. Uh, so how long have you been using Nutanix for? Uh, we started uh, our Nutanix journey about five years ago with uh, four nodes originally. Um, one of the key reasons we chose Nutanix was uh, we knew we would need to scale up over time, but we didn't know when that would be. So today we've uh, added two more nodes and it's uh, kept us running solidly throughout that time. Yeah, no, that's, that, that's great. So, um, you know, Nutanix is a, um, an ever-changing organization. It's an ever-changing and developing platform. Um, you know, if you think about what Nutanix was like five years ago when you first invested in it, um, you know, the, the landscape, the ecosystem was a very different place. So, um, you know, what made you consider Nutanix back then? And what was the, uh, what was the infrastructure you were replacing? And, and why did you make those decisions? Yeah, when I started, I inherited uh, some legacy three-tier infrastructure with a uh, SAN storage solution, uh, which is actually a bit of a bottleneck. Uh, things would go wrong and we weren't able to pinpoint exactly where uh, fast enough. So we'd heard about this hyperconverged thing and we looked around uh, for that as a solution and uh, Nutanix seemed to be the clear leader in the market and we haven't looked back since. Sure. So you've been using Nutanix for around five years. Uh, what do you still like about it today? Uh, there's two reasons I like Nutanix. Uh, the first is their roadmap is quite comprehensive and has expanded over time. Uh, it's been amazing to see um, without us realizing uh, when we first went into Nutanix how the products they've been producing uh, still appeal to us today. Uh, the other thing is the community. So there's a fantastic community around Nutanix, which I think you're about to ask me some more questions about. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. <laughs> and it's very much why we're here today, right, is, is uh, you know, communicating and getting across kind of the value of the community. Obviously, we're here to build our own H-Expert community, but, you know, there are other communities as part of uh, the Nutanix ecosystem, and, and you know, let's, we'll, we'll have a bit more of a chat about that. So are there any other features within the Nutanix ecosystem that you're currently considering? And, and I guess I'd kind of preface that by saying that, you know, Nutanix is a very uh, different product to what it was five years ago. Um, as you mentioned, right, their roadmap is very expansive. Uh, you know, their portfolio has grown significantly. And so, you know, a lot of our customers that get in on the ground floor when they're looking at modernizing their infrastructure away from legacy three tier, looking at hyperconvergence, the, the capability now is, is far superior when you look at all of the other features that are available. So, you know, what are some of the other things that you're looking at? Yeah, uh, to date we've achieved disaster recovery capability on Nutanix. So into the future, we'd like to look into the Nutanix clusters uh, capability to be able to fail into the cloud. Uh, another product we're looking at is uh, Nutanix Flow for their micro segmentation uh, security uh, to prevent lateral movement between systems. And also ERA, the database product. Sure. Yeah, look, here is a, an exciting one. Uh, there's a lot of buzz within Nutanix. Um, you know, there's a lot of a lot of very good use cases, and I hear from a lot of customers that they're evaluating ERA. So, um, you know, we'll be doing sessions on that uh, a little bit later on. Um, so, I guess one of the things uh, about having you here is that you're not actually a Lenovo Nutanix customer, right? Which is which is fine. Um, the the reason why we really wanted to speak to you today is that you're uh, quite an influential member of the Nutanix community. You've been a long time Nutanix user. Uh, you are the Sydney chapter lead for the Nutanix user group, um, and you're also a Nutanix technology champion, of which there are only around 160 or so globally. So it's quite a, an exclusive club. And uh, you know, I'd really love to have a chat to you about about you know what it's what it's like to be part of a Nutanix community, and what kind of value does it does it bring? Yeah, the key thing there, Charlie, is community, um, both in regard to the NUGS and the NTC 
community. Uh, it's a fantastic group of people that come together. So the Nugs, we ran one recently. Uh, we actually ran it Australia-wide. We're filming this during COVID, so we ran it virtually online. And that was actually great because we threw out the uh, invitation to lots more people than were just in New South Wales. Um, some of the feedback there was we could have had a little more community participation somehow and perhaps a bit more beer, but we'll work on that for the next one. So as you said, 160 uh, NTCs worldwide, uh, experts in their field. And for me, that's a, a great resource to be able to tap into to ask questions either for my own sake or on behalf of people in the Nugs. Yeah, that's great. And, and that's really what we're trying to foster here. It's, um, it's a work in progress, right? We, we might not be perfect straight up. We're looking for feedback from the community. Uh, we're looking for everyone's input. And at the end of the day, you know, it, it, we're setting this up so that you guys can collaborate and you can learn from the experience of other users and guys like Simon who've been using Nutanix for, for quite a while. Um, so one of the other benefits of being an NTC is you get access to all of the Nutanix.next events, um, of which are usually you know, spread all over the world. Uh, you know, we've had one here in Sydney um, and then you know, others all over the place. Um, unfortunately, at the moment, that's probably going to be a little bit more tricky. We've got one coming up in September, which is going to be a virtual event. Um, can you tell us a little bit about your experience in terms of being part of the .next events? Where have you been fortunate enough to, to, to head off to? Yeah, I've been fortunate enough to go to three of the international .next so far. Two in the States and one in Europe, which has been great, uh, both in terms of community and also uh, just uh, being first to hear about the, the new roadmap from Nutanix. Um, there's a virtual one coming up, as you mentioned. Uh, so that should be quite beneficial, should be able to pack in a whole lot more people and get the message out there. Sure. So you guys can see on the screen, um, you know, this is an image of, of Simon who was actually presenting at the uh, Sydney.next event um, uh, probably a couple of years, about 18 months ago now. So um, again, you can kind of see the, the impact and the influence that Nutanix, that, um, that Simon has within the community. Yeah. At the time, I was just talking about our journey with Nutanix to date. Um, it was great to share that with the attendees at .next. And uh, after that, I had quite a few people coming up to me personally and asking questions. Um, so if you're feeling like you want to ask some questions about journeys, uh, join me at the NUG and I'm happy to help you. Yeah, no, that, that, that's great. And, and look, you know, for everyone out there, obviously, you know, Simon is, is part of our um, HExpert Teams uh, channel. So if you have any questions, you want to engage, you want to um, have a chat, you want to ask any questions, you know, feel free to reach out to Simon. Um, as always, he's, I'm sure he'd be more than happy to help. So, Absolutely. Mate, look, thank you so much for joining us today. Fantastic. Thank you.